What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Guys, I, have, I found out about an interesting story here on Media Takeout about this uh, Caucasian woman out of Binghampton, New York. And for me, the story is um, rather sad. And I mean that because I think it shows a few things. And one of it is that uh, you have a lot of black men who um, are somewhat thirsty and have less standards. And that there's some brothers that will just run up in anything. Okay. And you have this particular uh, woman who has admitted that on a video, okay, and we're going to play it here, but in this video, she admitted that she has knowingly infected uh, black men with HSV2. Uh, you would know it as the herp, okay, and uh, HSV1, HSV2, it's very common. Um very common and it's, it's it's something that's common not even only in america but just really in black america it's really common but you 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 would think that it's more prominent amongst blacks but what you're really understanding is that it's a it's a common amongst a lot of people so you gotta be careful okay a lot of people um if you have a either hsv1 or hsv2 it's like 50 percent that's what the CDC is saying. But this white woman has been targeting black men, passing this on purpose because she has chlamydia, gonorrhea, and the herp. But I want you to listen to what she has to say. We'll play the 40 seconds of the video. Now, there is a, a part of the video that I will leave um, in the media takeout article, article where you can see that you know, some girls have uh, put hands on her, but I'm gonna let you look at that. I'll play that clip and then we'll come back and talk about it pretty soon. Okay, so I'm here to make a few confessions to the people that I did around with. I have herpes, chlamydia, and gonorrhea. Sorry that I didn't tell you from the beginning and that I should have, but I was the victim at one point, and now all, everybody that I fuck is also now the victim. At the end of the day, and for you cheaters out, that's why you don't cheat and fucking bang them because now you're passing it on to other people. All right, guys, you heard what she has to say. You know, guys, I I want you to look at the this particular young lady. Okay, she said that. She was a victim at one point, and now because she's been the victim, that everybody else is a victim now. That doesn't make it a, a good reason at all. But if you look at this lady, she looks, she looks like a drug addict. She looks like she's not clean. Okay. If I were to, if I were to see her out, and I'm not saying that you can tell who has what, but I mean. She doesn't look like a woman that, I mean, how, how would you even talk to somebody like her? You know, she seems like she's even in the interview, like she's on drugs or very loose with herself. And, you know, and, and then she's, and she's, a, 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 you know, a lot of brothers are probably just glad to talk about they getting a white girl and they just running all up in there, man, you know? And what ended up happening was is that some of the brothers went out there and got their baby mamas to go beat her up for doing that on purpose. I want guys to really understand what's out there in America. Okay. They're, they're even, they're even women, man, that will bring this in, in, in relationships to you, you, and they won't tell you, you know, um, you have people that, Chilling their wives or their husbands and get it from somewhere else and bring it back to their husbands or wives. 
you know and this is a person that you love a person you care about you know and it's just for a lot of people man you know a lot of reckless um sex and, and now that i'm looking at it man being 40 you know what i mean like when i when i was like you know my 20s and you know early 30s and stuff and you know kind of had the rolling your dice man on the but then like now man you gotta really be careful man you don't know what these people have bro you don't know um you know what's going on you don't know who's trying to talk to you for what reason and a lot a lot of a lot of people lie about about what's going on man um and a lot of black men need to kind of value who you're dealing with and why you're dealing with you know everybody is not just worth the lay you know just to be screwing a chick because she will let you or just to be you know and i mean i get it you're, you're living in a small town like being hampton and you know you don't have a lot of opportunities a lot of options and I, I mean i understand how that works but you know those kind of towns man you know it 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 it, it, it goes down you know you know where those towns where you only got a walmart or it's a lot of screwing that goes on there you know and then even some of the black cities you know like the atlantas and the memphises of the world man those are are, are really big safe havens man for a lot of diseases you know and this is a this this is this is this is a, a a chick who's just dealing with black men. You know, she's coming into the community that that black men are at, and she just on purpose, you know, setting brothers on fire. And um, you know, I just I, you know, a lot of black men got to be selective, man. Got to really be selective. Got to be careful, brother. You know it's not so quick for you to get into the bedroom with somebody it's not so quick for you to do all of that man if you have to take all the exams you need to take and do that you know because right now in america man it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of shit out there okay especially during covid during covid it was a lot of screwing going on a lot of eating a lot of screwing you know, it's a lot of that. It's a lot of humping going on right now, bro. You don't know who, and a lot of times, man, chicks will lie about who they've been with, man. How many partners they've had, you know. Um, and that, that's probably what happened with, with this chick, man. You know, the guys had no idea. You know, but, but chicks will lie about their body count, man, and, and what's going on with them, and you know and who they dealt with before and, you know being like to feel special like to feel like you know you know we we the only ones that ever got that coochie and we the only ones that ever ma made her yell like that there man it's a lot it's a lot more in that body count man than you want to really know about and a lot of times you know who you didn't slept with in her <laughs> you didn't slept with you know you didn't slept technically the who she didn't slept with in her body count if you really want to be honest, man. So, guys, take care of yourself, man. Really take care of yourself, brothers. Um, watch out for yourself. Oh, wow. I really love you, brothers, man. Watch out for yourself. So, guys, um, check out the first company to the top. Check out the black mid-hurt t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. I'm out.